new merch available over at IamSickFlows.com. Go and get you some, boy! What's going on, Foundation family? I'm Sick Flows back with another reaction video, and today we're gonna be checking out Double XL Freshman Cipher. This one has Fibio Foreign, Cowboy, 24K Golden, and Mulatto. We're gonna see who's spitting that fire and who's spitting that nah. Man, make sure you guys get your lighters just in case one of these rappers is spitting that fire, man. Don't forget to slap that like button and let me know who you think did best to worst down in the comments below in order. And without further ado, Let's get right into this video, boy! All right, boy, man, here we go, man. Double XL Freshman Cypher. We have Fivio Foreign, Cowboy, 24K Golden, and Mulatto. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've only heard one song from 24K Golden, and I know Mulatto was from that, that one rap show. Uh, with Jermaine Dupree, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, guys, make sure you guys get your lighters ready just in case they do spit fire. Also, don't forget to join us on Patreon if you want a guaranteed reaction. And we do have merch available down in the comments below. Or you can go to IamSickFlows.com, copy some merch. And man, listen, let's get right into these bars, man. Let's go. Oh damn, it looks like there's uh looking mulatto. It looks like they're sitting, I mean standing like six feet apart from each other due to everything going on in the world. But it's a weird beat. I never heard a double XL freshman cipher on a beat like this. Let's check it out. Viral. Okay, so she said, if I rap it, I mean, if I rap it, I wrote it, I make the calls. And she also said that Gucci was her favorite rapper. Listen, I saw that she did a song with Gucci. Uh, I think it was a Freaky Girl remix or remake. I haven't heard the song, but if you guys want me to check it out, let me know down in the comments below if it's fire or not, man. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm, if I'm liking her style. Paid it off from a boss on my ass, nigga. Lay the mouth. If I rap it, I wrote it. I made the calls. Who else do you know that came from a TV show? Turned on the deal and still taking off. Mm. Mm. Hey, hey, Birkin that's so facts. What she said right there. Hold on. She said, Who else you know came from a TV show and still turned down the deal? I remember when she went in, into that TV show that she did get offered a deal, or so she says she did. And she turned it down because she's like, nah, I could do way better than that deal. Show turned on the deal and still taking off. Mm. Real good, a bitch, I'm on Clayco. Burkin' so big, fit the Draco. Mm. Bitch, better find her somebody to play with. Oh, I get a tuck like some Play Doh. Huh. I make him slurp me, Alfredo. Huh. He eat me out in a Rayco. Uh. Pussy like lean, I put him to sleep. He say, yo, shit cut with that K roll. Uh. I don't got Hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I think she was really snapping until she brought, like, like you know, sexual uh, things into the raps, man. Because, man, I want to see a female rapper that doesn't just rap about sex. I mean, she's not just rapping about sex, you know what I'm saying? But she added that into it. Hopefully, it was just that little bar or two bars in there. Because I want to see what she actually is capable of without bringing her body into it, man. And don't tell me that, that guy rappers do it, man. Listen, some guys do it, some guys don't. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. She just called me out. She called me out, boy. <laughs> Damn, okay, okay. So she called me out, man. She said that she usually don't rap, that she don't got to rap about sex, but that this shit is too good to pass on it. You know what I'm saying? And now she's bragging about the money she's got and stuff like that, man. So when it comes to MC, she is doing like what she's supposed to i honestly don't think that this is the type of beat that i would want to hear mulatto on um i feel like she's more of a like like a texan rapper and i feel like this beat is not like for texan rappers okay okay so that was mulatto man i i feel like with mulatto's part i'm not gonna lie to you guys I feel like she could have gone a lot harder. I feel like she probably wasn't feeling it or she wasn't really feeling the beat because what she was saying was pretty fucking dope. But I feel like as far as like her delivery, and again, I haven't really heard from Mulatto to even know what her music really sounds like. 
but her delivery was kind of weak for this beat. I'm not going to lie. It's like she wasn't feeling the beat, but I'm still going to go ahead and, and say Mulatto still did an 8 out of 10 for me, man. Uh, I, I like what she was saying. I like the bragging. Um, I took away some points just because her delivery wasn't very confident, and I feel like it's the beat's fault. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is 24K Golden coming up next. So let's take it back. I was just watching this type of last year. Now look at me now. Only God can stop. Mm. Ah. Hey. Out of control. I'm doing shows in quarantine over the FaceTime. Uh. She want to rock. I want to roll. Over, she's over the dateline. Uh. Dropped out of college, but I'm still a freshman. I'm about to blow up in every direction. I need to know if we share a connection or not. Because then I'm just stirring the pot. Uh. I got it hot. Niggas is talking a lot, but don't really tell when they flop. Uh. I got a mop. All right, so this is 24K Golden. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I do like him on the actual um instrumental, on this instrumental right now. He does sound pretty good. Well, I don't know if I if I would like his music or not. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Alright, man. I'm not gonna lie. Now now I see why I don't like his type of music, bro. He literally said, got your girl tick talking to my shit. Oh, man. He makes songs for like 13-year-olds, bro. That, that's what that tells me, man. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. Got your girl tick talking to my shit. Yeah. I see Fabi in the cut. Yeah. Who walking in this yeah. bitch? I see Kyle getting wild. See the style too legit. And Mulatto, she a queen. Put a crown on that head. Hey. I don't want fans, I want stands. Tattoo my name on your neck so it lasts. Ooh. I don't do free, need a fee. Something to chuck in these bell bottom jeans. Uh. You know I'm too legit to quit. We do this every day. From LA to the Bay. You know we never play. All right, so that was 24K Golden. I'm going to be honest. Um, I love the delivery and the flow and the confidence that he had. And as far as like lyrics, I heard a few dope things here and there. That TikTok line was pretty whack, in, in my opinion. Um, but all in all, I, I got to give him, I got to give him a solid, I got to give him a solid like 7.5, man. I wanted to rate him a little bit higher, but I feel like, you know, I like Cyphers and this is more like a song. Possibly he already used this on his song. I'm not sure. I don't listen to his music, but based on what I'm hearing now, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 7.5. Let's see who we got up next. Yeah. Yeah. Order this ice on. I got a rose pipe on. Uh, shoot it, shoot it. Whatever he laying his sights on. They gotta drop the my songs. Big flex, right arm. Big flex, right arm. I got different type of nights on. And okay. I'm a liar. Uh, and I don't get tired. Uh, I got hit men for sale. Huh. And I'm looking for a buyer. Look, I see an op in this quiet. Movie. I see an op in this quiet. Look, he wanna get lit. Set him on fire. Get lit. Set him up. Fed. Oh man, okay, so I think I think uh he's actually freestyling right now. Is it Fivio or five or five year? I'm not sure, but listen, I think he's actually going off the top of the dome. Um, I don't like the instrumental. I'm not saying I don't like the instrumental by itself. I just feel like for these rappers, like for him and for Mulatto, it wasn't really fitting I feel like their flow and everything like that, man. I feel like this guy right here. Wait, isn't this just the guy that like uh, was signed to uh or friends with pop smoke i'm pretty sure it is and that's what i was just about to say like he's more of a like a new york rapper and this type of beat doesn't really fit him i feel like for him you need like a real trap beat from new york man I see with the 40 tucked in my pajamas, look, mm. uh, run up on me and I'ma go bonkers, look, uh, I make it hot, sauna, little mommy, I am not on ya, you fucked up, you fuck me, that is not karma, look, I put the dice on ya, send shots, those is not I got, I gotta say, man, I, I do like his style. Torn, state to state and I was not torn, look, I sit mm. in the seat, look, and I catch it if she throw it to me. Okay. They fall asleep, but I never let them fumble the dream. Mm. Yeah. And I yeah. never let them humble the team. Look, and that's come from me. I call the movers and they come in at three. Wow. All right, man. Uh, so that was for him, bro. I'm gonna be honest with his style. Um, lyrics weren't really like on point. It's not like the dude was dropping bars. You know what I'm saying? 
And over the years, Double XL Freshman Cypher, we've seen people go on there with, they are not dropping bars. We had Lil Mosey. We had Kodak Black. And I actually like Kodak Black. We had uh, Anderson Pack, who's an amazing artist. And, and, and when he did the Double XL Freshman Cypher, he bombed it. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he did a terrible job at doing the Double XL Freshman Cypher, but he's a great artist. So I feel like with this, um, he didn't really have bars, right? But what he did have was like that sound of rap, man. So I feel like I would enjoy his music. However, this freestyle cypher, uh, X double XL freshman cypher, I got to go ahead and give him. Oh man. I hate to say it. I'm going to go ahead and give him a seven, bro. I'll give him a seven. I, I do like the flow, but again, ah, every, all these artists are getting lower than like tens. And it's because of the beat that they, um, that they're on and which sucks, man. I feel like with the double XL freshman cypher, they should take the people that are putting on the cypher together and have them select the beat. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Because the beat is what's killing them. Let's get it. Uh, hey, this is Cowboy uh, coming up. Yeah. Hey, hey, I ain't been getting no sleep because, nigga, I'm trapping a lot. Okay. Hey, no, I'm not talking about polo, but niggas be capping a lot. Woo. Hey, I got to rap with that Nina because niggas be yapping a lot. Yeah. Hey, I got some aim with that glizzy. I blow his little cap off his top. <laughs> Real. I got some boys just locked down in the cage. I know some boys from the sandbox probably won't see them boys to the grave. I got some secrets we kept in the streets. Probably got to take that to the grave. Most hey, I'm not going to lie. I've never heard a Cowboy song, but I'm going to tell you right now, this... This cypher right here is making me want to listen to a Cowboy song. Uh, he, he's coming out with that kind of like that trap type of rap, with, which I really enjoy, man. Um, with that gangster rap and shit like that. And you can tell he's about that life, bro. Just looking at him and how he carries himself. So I'm going to have to check out some Cowboy songs. So let me know down in the comments below which Cowboy songs I should check out, man. Boys to the grave. Mm. I got some secrets we kept in the streets. Probably gotta take that to the grave. Yeah. Most of my niggas, we came in from nothing, but trap it, bitch, we had it made. Yeah. For real. And cow the wild ain't bring no lyrics with them. Mm. But them niggas with them. Cow the wild ain't move no muscle, shorty. Bet them niggas get them. Uncle Wesley taught me how to trap, so I grow bigger than them. Every day I'm on finesse and shit. And some different than them. I have problems with my demons, shorty. I been feeling bitter. I have problems with my feelings, shorty. I ain't feeling better. See, this is what I'm talking about right here, man. Just tried to dog me like a kennel. If he disrespect the squad that's on Jabbar, we got to kill him. See, this is what I'm talking about right there, man. Um, He had a very strong first half. And when it comes to the second half of the song, his lyrics didn't like slack. You know, it, it, it kept going the same. But I feel like that second part of the song of his verse was meant to be on a different type of beat. I don't like this instrumental for any of these artists. However, I'll say when it comes to the artists, I feel like 24K Golden probably jumped on the instrumental better than everyone else. Um, and he had the worst lyrics out of all of them, I feel like. Well, 24K Golden, it's not like bad lyrics, but I feel like it's not my type of music. But he flowed on the uh, instrumental way better than any of the other artists on this song, on the cypher. Oh, we gotta yeah. kill him. 2020 fresh. Yay. <laughs> you got it, gang. Bow. Bow. Oh. Yeah. 2020 yeah. It's the Oh, boy. All right, guys. Well, that was a double XL freshman cypher. And that is with Fabio Foreign, Cowboy, 24K Golden, and Mulatto. Um, honestly, it was an okay cypher. I can't wait to listen to the other ciphers. But I'll say this, man. When it comes to Mulatto's uh, part, I feel like Mulatto wasn't really feeling the beat and probably didn't deliver as she should have um i did enjoy her lyrics however um when it comes to 24k golden i feel like when it comes to the instrumental out of all these rappers he jumped on it the best um as far as flow goes i don't think his lyrics were better than anybody else's on there um maybe fabio um maybe he was better than him as far as lyrics go but then again with uh foreign i feel like his music is something that i will listen to now when it comes to cowboy cowboy's first half of the verse was actually pretty fucking good and i was really hoping that he killed the entire thing however it's one of those situations again where i say that the instrumental wasn't meant for these artists and i would love to see 
them jump on a double XML, double XL freshman cipher again with a different instrumental. And I know that people do the edits and things like that. So I might check them out. But anyways, man, I still think that this uh, cipher is fire. Um, again, none of the rappers did a terrible job so far. I'm really excited to see the other two videos of the double XL freshman cipher because throughout the years, we've had some terrible ones, man. Anyways, let me know who you think did best and who you think did worst down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with notification bells on. Slap that like button and I'll see you guys next time with another one. Bow!